So I would like to talk about a common framework on how we define event management and what do we consider really the event professional in this country, given the new normal from what Ms. Dabur said or presented earlier. So actually, we said that events are daily phenomena everywhere as part of human social interactions, as part of our social transactions, as part of our life cycle events like weddings, anniversaries, parties, and part of our political events, which is coming off for the Philippines in the next 2016, a big major event for us. So this is what events are. It's a daily phenomenon in our lifetime. And I'd like to say that events should be organized, should be managed for it to be very meaningful. Otherwise, you waste your resources. And that's why we're learning the building blocks of what is event management and its processes. So we can mitigate the risk, we can control risk. And in order for us to achieve goals and objectives, because events will only be meaningful if our strategy program, our action steps, and we reach our ROIs. As uh, the previous speaker is telling us that the new normal now is to bring events not as an expense in our company, but it is supposed to be a revenue generator for our company. And of course, given all of these trends, events are not just anymore an ad hoc committee in our companies. There is really a science in doing events. That's why we are all here. And we're sharing, we're sharing the building blocks on how to really make it as a science. And in the States, our expert who will speak after me, she will tell you that she, in, in, uh, in the United States, there are already event management courses. And she's been teaching and advocating event management as a science in West Europe. And it's the same thing that she's bringing in here to us in the Philippines. So all of us here who are really planning to make a career in event management, we all embrace it as a scientist just like any discipline. And I would, I would like to borrow from a definition in the event management body of knowledge. I think this is also part of Ms. Ali's materials, which we did last November. And I find this meaningful. It says that it's a process by which an activity is planned, organized, produced, prepared, managed, and executed. And he or she, or it encompasses definition and allocation, direction, acquisition, control, assessment, and analysis of time, financials involved in our project, people, product, services, and other resources.